Hello, you are watching On The Move with Lady Kate, brought to you by Afro USA TV, celebrating greatness in our community. I am so honored to introduce to you one of Cameroon's best, uh, Don Julio, who is here in the studio today. My lady. Oh my God, welcome, welcome. I know you travel the world. It's an honor to have you today. Where are you coming from, actually? You're here in the United States. Where was your last stop? <laughs> My last stop before the United States. Yeah. I would say it was in Dublin, mm -hmm. but it was just a transit. Wow. On my way from Ethiopia and Djibouti, where I'm currently working. You know wow. where Djibouti is? Somewhere in Africa. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tip of Africa yes. to the east. The Horn of Africa, uh -huh. somewhere just to the east of Ethiopia. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. You are a man that wears many, many hats. Well known in our community, not just amongst yeah. Cameroonians, you know, the diaspora. You are very well known. You are international. You're mm -hmm. doing a lot of things, but today we're going to focus on one thing. Thank and uh, it's your role in the entertainment industry, the growing entertainment industry in Africa. You yes. got it down to the T. Yes. Please tell our audience who you are. Little background. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, everybody knows me as uh, Don Julio Batts. That's right. And the uh, Don. The Don. Yes. I love that. I love yes. that. Um, I'm a royalty. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I was born and raised in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been in the United States since like uh, the I don't know, 20, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, after I've been, been in Japan, I've lived in 18 countries, over five continents. Wow. But uh, in the United States, I claim California as my home. Yay! And, uh, LA, <laughs> you know, LA. Course, yes, Los Angeles. <laughs> Even though I've not been there for quite a right. few years now, I've been traveling around the world, as you said, right. trying to. Uh, to, to do two things, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I also work for, for Uncle Sam. Yeah. You know, I try to help uh, Uncle Sam in getting things right on the African continent. Right. I set that as one of my goals to make sure that, you know, when I'm, you know, in the United States, you mm -hmm. know, working for government, I will try to work uh, in a position that allows me to help the U.S. government to do things better yes. than they used to do in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, secondly, I continue to do something which uh, I did for a long time in Cameroon mm -hmm. uh, while I was still a journalist, which is uh, promote music, promote culture, yeah. promote artists, promote, you know, entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that I really love to do and uh, and uh, I'll continue doing that till I die. You are doing a great job. I'm sure everybody knows um, your brand. <laughs> a great brand indeed. I'm the Don. Yes, because you're the Don, of course. You know, BGC. I've, as I say, I've signed my name yes. across many people's hearts. That's right. You know, especially, you know, Cameroonians. Yes. Yeah. yeah, BGC. Mm. Tell us about BGC. Yes, BGC. Well, BGC started in 2010, early 2010, mm -hmm. uh, when I came back from a uh, big assignment in Kosovo. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to start investing back in, in Cameroon. I've had a feeling that my time had come. Uh, the World Cup was coming in yeah. South Africa. And I wanted to see if I could set up something that will take Cameroonian culture into South Africa. Wow. So I was looking for talent. Uh, at that time, I found designer Seal Anim. Wow. Seal Anim, that's still my, she's still my baby. And uh, I signed up my first model, uh, Marie Noah. Mm -hmm. And then I signed up my first artist at that time. His name was Denzil Ambe. Now he's known as Ambe. Yes. Oh, Ambe, Ambe the artist. Yes. yes. <laughs> Before you were anything else. <laughs> That's still your home. Okay. <laughs> you know, waiting for you. So uh, I decided to set that up and I was doing corporate communication. Right. I do a little bit of translation, interpretation on mm -hmm. contract and so on. And I do... Uh, corporate communication for politicians. Mm -hmm. right? If you're trying to run a campaign, yeah. If you want to win, right? You know, want to deal with people who know how to make people win. Usually, I always win. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, I'm the guy behind who will set up strategy yeah. on how to set up campaign messaging and so right. on, and to reach the right targets and the core targets mm -hmm. so that your message goes through. So that's what Batson Global Communications is, and. BGC Melody mm -hmm. is a subsidiary of BGC, okay. uh, which is my record label. Mm -hmm. It's, I believe right now, the, currently, it's the best record label in Cameroon. Wow. It's still growing. Hey. It doesn't yet, 
<laughs> we're just getting started. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. And mm -hmm. let me tell you, um, you've been sharing on social media mm -hmm. some of the great talent that's coming up under B BGC. Absolutely. Um, we have Bandong. Yeah. Yes. We have <laughs> Dina. 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 We Dina have Eli Solo. Eli Solo. <laughs> Please tell me, I mean, yeah. how did you discover this talent? How okay. did you discover these artists? Because they're really good. Okay, so mm -hmm. let, let, let me start from the, the easiest one. Right. One was right in my house. Wow. You know, Bandong, mm -hmm. his real name is Jeffrey Baxson. Yes, now everybody knows you're my brother. Oh, I never <laughs> That's my knew. youngest brother. So I'm the first <laughs> of seven, and he's the seventh of seven. I see. And uh, he's been a musician his whole life. Okay. And uh, we had a beef. I just didn't like the type of music he was doing before. Right. He had a different direction and I did respect it. Mm -hmm. And I really loved talent. I really wanted to promote music. Wow. But for years, he was going in a direction that wasn't the type. I really wanted to focus on African music, on yeah. African, you know, core, you know, sounds and right. everything. Beats and everything. Uh, yes, yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was doing mostly hardcore hip hop and mm -hmm. rock hip hop. He's, he's really talented. Uh -huh. You know, I love what he, he does. He is. He yes. is. Yeah. So he was... Uh, the lead singer of a band in uh, in Germany of a okay. rock band mm -hmm. and he's rapping on you know with <laughs> this fine white musicians in the uh -huh. background playing screeching guitars wow. and you have the black guy with dreadlocks oh my god and I thought I love that but mm -hmm. if I'm promoting something that's not what I want to promote something African right and I think two years ago three years ago he decided to take a turn mm -hmm. and he said yes he's ready to go back home to his roots and do African music. Yeah. He, he tried on two songs and I'm like, that's what I wanted. Yeah. So we actually sat down and penned after uh -huh. long discussions, a five year contract. Wow. You know, so that was my first artist. That's and wonderful. Um, and he's got some big hits coming. I yes, can, absolutely. you know, yeah. Absolutely. And Look has, out for Bandung, I'm yes. telling you. And he has an excellent <laughs> album out there yeah. on iTunes, on the Spotify, mm -hmm. on all your Amazon, yeah. all your favorite uh, online music yep. stores. Look for Revelations 2.1. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Revelations, like Rebelations, not mm -hmm. Revelations. And, okay. Uh, you know, it's a really great album. Then, uh, right now, I have Dina. Dina is Dina served. Is served. Mm. <laughs> that video Very is hot. It is hot. And she, listen, it was yes. shot in Limbe. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes. You know, Dina I'm a Limbe served, diva, so in Limbe, right, I right, love right. it already. You, I saw, just, you saw the visuals. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. M many people don't know mm -hmm. we can capture the beauty and essence of mm -hmm. our country that way. That's yes. the one thing I love about that video. That's, That's right. one thing I really love about all the videos we're doing. We try to showcase the most beautiful aspects yes. of our country of our continent that mm -hmm. people are not bringing out yeah and that's what i love about dina but dina is special yeah dina first of all she's a very very humble girl yeah you know she she was with me for very long mm -hmm. and uh, she knew that i had some artists i was trying to promote ahead of her right i had an artist called lala that we were trying to put you know up front yeah at some point we had some you know philosophical differences right the whole time dina was supportive waiting for her time this and, is your time yes. Dina. <laughs> and when her time came we put her in studio and we were stunned oh wow we were just shocked that's wonderful one she can rap mm -hmm. like who's your favorite rapper in the united states yeah is it cardi b or is it uh Nicki i Minaj? love them all okay whether it's cardi b or Nicki Minaj, <laughs> dina is going head to head with them right, right and then right. dina told me like i don't only want to rap i want to sing i'm like but mm. people know you as a fancy she says no i want to sing too right dina started working her voice you know did some vocal coaching and You've heard her latest song? Oh, yeah. She sings like a real diva. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really big talent. Yeah. The third artist that I have right now, Elise Solo. Elise Solo, you want to do some Dumbbello? <laughs> it rhymes. I love him. You should write oh, songs for Elise Solo. I'm going to be writing. Oh, you know I'm talented. <laughs> you too. should be writing. I should have been a singer. For wow. Me. Yes. Lady oh, Kelly. Elise I'm, Solo, Dumbbello. You, you, you need to sign with us. <laughs> you need to sign with BGC Melody. BGC no, on Elise, the moon. Elise yes. Solo was like a big discovery yeah he, i i received an average of 10 to 15 you know solicitations from wow. young artists wow every week looking not for a way out yes oh my god sir i'm so talented yes. i've seen what you're doing please sign me up i'll mm -hmm. do we cannot sign everybody you can't i don't have all the money and even if i did you still have to focus on mm -hmm. a core number of artists right. get them big yeah. before you move to the next True. and Elisolo solo was persistent wow he would send me you know, dem demos and new songs mm -hmm. and everything, and write, you know, ton ton. He was so humble. One day I listened finally to one of his songs, uh -huh. and I was just like, oh my gosh, wow. what am I missing here? 
Then I started listening to everything and I realized there was a lot of There's treasure. A talent. I called him the first time I asked him, I said, but Congo, mm -hmm. you're from Congo, right? I say yes. Where are you, Kinshasa? I said, but you people have a lot of record yes. levels. You have a lot of people there, mm -hmm. production units. Why are you not signing? He said, no, he only wants the best. Wow. He wants the best. Mm -hmm. He wants to work with BG Smiller because he's seen the work I'm doing. He yeah. follows online and everything. And because we're patient and he's not trying to be a star overnight, mm -hmm. he wants to do work on his art and I said, okay. Wow. So we signed another five-year contract and ever mm -hmm. since, it's just been yeah. amazing. He has an excellent Watch album out, out there, yes. Simon 2. Simon you know, 2. Always, you know, he one. does rumba. I like him yes. because he's like, he's very talented. For the old school guys. Rumba and Dombolo. Yes. I mean, he's mixing them both. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Absolutely. And he plays the guitar. He plays the guitar also solo. Dance. Yeah. And he dances, yeah. So, I mean, that, watch that's, out. That, that's, that's the little edge <laughs> yeah. he has on the guy like Fali Ikupa. Uh -huh. Which is Fali Ikupa can dance very well. He that's can sing right. very well. Mm -hmm. The Elite solo is going to bring you that old school yeah. Congolese solo yes, guitar. Yes, yes. You know, the kind of thing that we used to hear from the days of Rochero mm -hmm. Franco. Mm -hmm. That's where Elite Solo takes you and that's just awesome. Indeed. Yeah, wow, so. that's wonderful. I know you don't only manage music. Um, we, we've worked together oh, in promoting things. models, yes. even our past, some of our past queens from Miss Africa, queens, yeah. Miss Cameroon World, yes. you know, I mean, we've been through a lot. You are something else. <laughs> it's God's power, as they say, yeah. you know, because yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't know when I sleep. Seriously, at times, right. I don't know when I sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, if, you, you live a very busy life. Yes, I do. You are out there serving in the military. Yes. Um, we honor you for that. I Thank know you. you don't want to talk about Thank that you, too much. But, yeah, let's, let's but we are that. here safe because you are out there putting your life in danger for us. So we honor you, not just on Veterans Day, but every day, you know. I'm honored um, about it. Yes. <laughs> you see, you still managed to bring this up, even though you see, that's very sly. <laughs> You know, Lady Kate, we she, have to. She's, a, she's, she's a very smart lady, you know. We have she knows to. How to do this yeah, thing, but the, the, the mm. God has blessed you so much Thank and you're you. blessing others. You're yes. bringing up great talent, mm. you know, not only in Cameroon, but across Africa. Mm. And God bless you. We honor you. Thank you so, so much. So what's the future? What, what's coming up? What's coming up? What's in the pipeline? Well, first of all, um, excellent albums. Mm -hmm. uh, all my artists are going to do great featuring, so yes. like the collabs with the, right. with foreign artists Wonderful. this year. That's the second phase. That's the, the way the to go. The first phase, yes. The yeah. first phase, I told them, first of all, we're going to do things differently. Right. Don't any paradigm that you've been following from Cameroonian industry or mm -hmm. African industry, we're not doing that. Okay. We're going to do things the way it's supposed to be done. Right. right. First year, I want you to focus on production. Mm -hmm. Be bring out your best talent. Right. Then the second year, we'll all go out and pro do promotion. Say this is what we produce. Do you like it? Yeah. If you don't like it, give us feedback and we'll make corrections. Mm -hmm. Third year, we're going now. You know, Africa wide. Yes. We're going into East Africa, into West Africa, spreading, and then I'll bring them into the United States, into the diaspora we community. We are waiting. Right. And we then you know, I'll put them out there. But yeah. then. As for me personally, yeah. you know, I'm finishing a little mission out there, you know, in the Horn of Africa. When right. I'm done, mm -hmm. I want to come back to the States and take some time for myself, yes. have some fun, yeah. go to normal parties, eat <laughs> a chew and, uh, you know, an aero yes. and just meet with my people and maybe start working out again because you right. need to I used to be pretty, you know, <laughs> I need to work out because I, I had a brother tell me like, man, uh -huh. you put on some weight. No, you right? are looking fresh. That's what we say. We don't talk <laughs> about no weight. We say you are looking <laughs> fresh. My brother. Brother, you are looking fresh. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to have you in the studio to share your latest uh, developments. Okay. And uh, may God bless you. Thank you Please so much. look out every day on social media. BGC is promoting the best. And if you need him, please, you will find him on social media. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more greatness on Afri USA TV. Thank you. Thank you, my lady.